What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to Africa Celebrities. This is Bob Bright, your man. Ghana is officially heading to the IMF, the International Monetary Fund. And this has confirmed one thing that President Akufado and Baumia, his vice president, they are the greatest economic disasters to ever happen in the history of Ghana. <laughs> This is something that we all saw coming and the former president Mahama actually, actually saw coming. Yet this stubborn, proud and arrogant government decided that it was not going to seek any financial relief from the IMF. And fast forwarding to today, 1st July, Republic Day, Akufuado has authorized his finance minister to seek IMF bailouts, which would amount to almost $1 billion. <laughs> And the only, conf the only uh, excuse they are trying to manufacture here is that Russia-Ukraine war. You guys, don't be fooled by anything. If you look at this uh, uh, current political uh, management, they don't want to admit, but everything shows that they failed totally. Yes, you can't say Russia-Ukraine war. Please, listen. The Ghana city is now the worst performing currency in the whole of Africa, as we speak with one dollar going for over eight cities um i think uh, right now uh, i think inflation rate stands at 27 percent which is a whopping staggering amount you have never seen that figure <laughs> in my lifetime i have not seen that figure please <laughs> let's be honest and we can't be taking these excuses that russia is fighting ukraine and then the covid 19 pandemic has forced this government to just shatter this economy into ruins. Please ask yourself this one question. Is Ghana the only, the, the only country in the world that has been hit by COVID? Is Ghana the only country that is feeling the impact of the Russia-Ukraine war? Why is it that if it were true that all countries <laughs> hit by COVID-19 pandemic or the Russia-Ukraine crisis would just collapse economically? Why is it that it is only Ghana that is just running helter skelter with the economy just <laughs> collapsing completely under the weight of corruption <laughs> corruption mismanagement looting dishonesty yeah. we are heading for disaster because we know imf bailouts they come with conditionalities and these conditionalities they are a set of principles and rules they must do and they must not do that <laughs> the IMF team would set out, they will lay down a procedure forcing the government to abandon its reckless spending and then certain projects like the National Cathedral which may be a good idea because <laughs> the aim is to help the country revive the economy, stabilize the currency and then help, uh, I mean kind of um, stabilize the debt to GDP ratio. But this is basically another loan. In the beginning, we were tricked, we were fooled into believing that Ghanaians have two options, either choose the E-Levy or IMF. Now, <laughs> Parliament decided to illegally approve the E-Levy. So we are paying the 1.5% <laughs> electronic E-Levy on all digital transactions which is massive <laughs> but this government <laughs> has never admitted that policies like the free hss these are part of the <laughs> the, the, the the failures these are part of the the causes of the current crisis we are feeling and one person that is now just surprising me most is the the, the current vice president this was the man who came and said yes we have a solid economic management team in the likes of uh, Finance Minister Ken Oforiata, John Bafo, Professor John Bafo, Senior Minister Yao Osafo Mafo. <laughs> hey, he mentioned all the big, big names and now attempted to mock the opposition, challenging them to recollect any of their economic management team. It's not about the men. You have the men, but these men you are having, they are the wrong men. They are the perfect men for corruption. And that is when you have a president <laughs> buffing in the sky <laughs> and then chatting flies, ultra luxury flies abroad every year 
every week. <laughs> what do you expect to have? You have a, 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 a messy economy like we are suffering now. And I'm so, 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 so annoyed that this government has completely let down the Ghanaians. It has completely let down the voters. And these are some of the reasons why I don't like to vote. Because politicians these days are all fake people. They can never be trusted. That's the update I'm giving you. Ghana is officially heading to IMF, the International Monetary Fund, to seek for a loan to, <laughs> a loan to relieve the pressure on the Ghanaians. Because normally when they go for this kind of loans, <laughs> it, 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 it will come with a lot of pros and cons. And you should be ready to feel that. Because hmm, I have the feeling this, these IMF people can just say, okay, place an embargo on employment so the public sector employment will be cut down payment of uh, <laughs> increment of salaries and other things will completely be blown away and i'm even asking these people that they should, they should allow the government they should tell this government to slash down their, their, their ministers slash down the reckless spending, the wasteful <laughs> appointment that we have made with 110 plus ministers having several, several, several people occupying positions that are just wasteful, designed to just kill our economy. Now we have it. Ghana is dead. <laughs> so <laughs> basically, if you are a Ghanaian in the system right now, you are owing a lot of money <laughs> in debt. And that debt, <laughs> the debt to G, the debt to GDP ratio is over eighty percent. When you have the jet, the debt to GDP ratio hovering around eighty percent, you know that you are heading for the point of no return. <laughs> that and that's what has happened. <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> you see, people are always tempted to just speak anything in the name of defending their parties. You don't have to stick with one party when you know that these people are failing. And then you are just forced to defend their foolishness, their 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 their, their, their idiotic <laughs> arguments, and then foolish policies. Don't be defending this kind of nonsense because <laughs> the more you defend them, the more trouble you will see. Like we are witnessing right now. You can leave in the comments below how you feel about this IMF bailout. Is it the right thing? <laughs> It's the, 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 the last straw. You don't have any option. But I'm just hoping that if the government is able to secure this IMF bailout loan, then they should just crap up the 11. As simple as that. Because you can't be taxing people illegally, illegally and then going for a loan of $1 billion. And yet we have to still be suffering to pay illegally. Let's let just come and relieve the pressure of everybody because that's the essence of the, the bailout. It's supposed to relieve pressure and then help us <laughs> survive the system. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in another video. Pra.